Hey Hector, I got a lot of jokes about unemployment. You gonna tell me one? Nah, none of them work. All jokes aside, guys, th these are charcuterie boards that my students are making over at Woodcraft. We had a great turnout. We had six students this time at our Woodcraft classes. And this class is strictly just to show the basics on how to build a river table. Everything that you learn on the small scale can move to the big scale version of a big river table. And so, as you can tell, we have tons of buckets and mixing tools laying around here in this video and what I'm gonna do is show you right here very quick very soon how to clean and save all these buckets alright so do me a favor after you look at these nice charcuterie boards go ahead and stick around to check out the rest of the video What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Good View Woodworks channel. My name is Nathan and in this video we're going to go over one of the biggest questions and comments that I get on my channel. We're going to go over that right now. Here we go. Okay, so the question is, Nathan, what do I do with my tools and my buckets? How do you clean them out? How do I clean my tools off? You know, variations like that. And the short answer is, well, when it comes to the buckets, I I let the epoxy sit with a stir stick and I break them out like this. So I just go in here and I squeeze the bucket and you can see it releasing from the sides here. Make sure all it's all broken up from the bottom of the bucket. Just work it around. And I pop it out just like that. Right? See that? All clean on the inside. Then you can work to pull all the pieces on the outside off if you want to. Now, I reuse this for color coats for opaque stuff like this, but if I'm going to do a flood coat, I always buy a new bucket. But you don't have to if you're just doing a color coat because you'll never be able to tell. But see, it pops right off. No issues, no worries. So that's what I do with the buckets. But as far as my mixers, if you can see, I don't clean them off at all. What I do is I'll put it in, I'll put it in the bucket when I'm mixing, and I'll pull it out, and I'll put it up, put the drill on high speed, and I'll spin it really quick to get any of the excess off. But then I let the epoxy dry. You'll get stalactites and stuff like this. But all it does is help the drill help it mix the epoxy. It doesn't really matter. And the reason why I say that is these things are like between five and ten bucks. I've had this one and this one for several years and haven't had to buy a new one. So it's not really worth the time or effort to clean it off with solvents or rags or anything like that because you're going to spend more time and money trying to clean them off when it's not necessary. Once it gets too bound up, which like I said, I have one that I've been using for three and a half years and still use it. It has a bunch of stalactites on it. Once that one gets done, I'll throw it away and buy another $5 drill mixer. So that's really what I do. Hopefully this answers all your questions. Now when it comes to like my drills and things like that, you do want to wipe them off with mineral spirits to get any, if you accidentally spill some epoxy on those, that is what will help. 
Other than that, my actual mixing tools and buckets, that's how I clean them off. So I hope this helps. Let me know if you learned anything. Leave a comment down in the comment section. Share this video with your friends. Guys, thank you for watching this short video, and I will catch you on the next one. Have a good day. Thanks for hanging out with us. All these tools and stuff, I will link down in the description below so you can go get yourself some as well. As far as uh, Amazon goes, I'm an affiliate, and all that means is that it doesn't cost you anything to buy something through my link, but it does kick me back a very small commission, and anything helps to support this channel, and I would appreciate it if you guys did that. So thanks again, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us.